Hello and welcome to my tutorial on how to install Requiem 1.8.1.1 by Zarian and Ogreboss using Mod Organizer. If you wish to use Nexus Mod Manager, please see my other tutorial by clicking the link provided in the description or the little box that just appeared. If you are just getting started and don't know whether to use Nexus Mod Manager or Mod Organizer, I suggest using the Nexus Mod Manager as it is easier to use with fewer issues to worry about. This tutorial will be split into two parts. The first part will follow the instructions provided by Ogreboss on the Requiem Wiki. A link has been included in the description and I encourage everyone to follow along as there will be a test at the end of this class. Not to mention the many details that I will not be covering in this tutorial. Part 2 will expand on the basic Requiem installation from Part 1 by adding a few commonly used mods. I want to stress this tutorial is not about how to mod Skyrim or how to use Mod Organizer. There are plenty of great tutorials for that already. This is just to show you what to expect when installing mods for Requiem well, and installing Requiem itself. With the long intro out of the way, let's begin. We will start off by downloading the required software. A link to each piece of software will be provided in the description. Let's start with Java. We will need to download Java 7 32-bit. I'm going to go to www.java.com. I'm going to click the link at the top. Notice it wants to give me version 8. We don't want version 8, we want version 7. For that, I'm going to have to go to this link at the bottom that says See All Java Downloads. Then on the left, I'm going to look for the link that says, where can I get Java 7? And finally, in the middle, where it says Java 7 Downloads. You're going to want to download Windows Online 32-bit or Windows Offline 32-bit. You do not want to download Windows Offline 64-bit. Mod Organizer does not like 64-bit Java. I'm going to download Windows Offline 32-bit. The download has been completed. I'm going to start the installation. I already have Java installed, but for demonstration purposes, I'm going to go ahead and reinstall it. Apparently, there are 3 billion devices that run on caffeine. Okay, the installation has completed. I'm going to go ahead and close this window. It's going to want to give me kind of a confirmation screen. I'll just go ahead and close that. With Java done, we will now download the Skyrim script extender. So once again, I'm going to go to Google and type in Skyrim script extender. There it is. I'm looking for that first link, and I'm going to download the installer. The installation has been downloaded, so I'm going to go ahead and start it. Notice it went ahead and found my Skyrim installation directory. If for any reason this is blank, you'll want to provide it. I will now need to download a program to unzip Mod Organizer when it is downloaded. It downloads in a 7Z format. So for this, I will be installing 7-Zip. There are many programs that can unzip 7Z files. Use whatever one you prefer. I'm going to go back up to Google and I'm going to type 7-Zip. There it is. I'm going to go ahead and download the 64-bit version you may need to download the 32-bit version. Well, that, that cloud's pretty strong if it can hold that big kind of hard drive rack there. Imagine if that rained on you. Okay, the download is completed and I will start the installation. I actually have it installed already. I'm going to repair it 
for demonstration purposes. And I'm going to press a bunch of buttons. Okay, it is completed. Finally, I will download Mod Organizer, which we will use to install our mods. So, back to Google, and I'm going to type Mod Organizer Skyrim Nexus. And there it is. Okay, before I download, I'm going to need to log in. I'm going to go to the Files tab, and I'm going to look for the latest version. You have a choice between kind of a manual installation and an installer. I wasn't able to get the installer to work the last time I tried, so I'm going to go ahead and just do this manually. I'm going to go ahead and pause the video while it downloads. I'll resume once it's done. Okay, Mod Organizer is done downloading. We will now go to install it. I'm going to bring up my file explorer, and I'm going to go to where Mod Organizer was downloaded. For me, it's on the E drive under Chrome Downloads. And there it is. You notice it has the 7Z extension, and it's labeled as a 7Z archive. I'm going to right click on this file, go to 7-zip, and open the archive. I'm going to take Mod Organizer, and I'm just going to go ahead and extract it to the E drive. You can put it wherever you prefer. I happen to have it in various other places on my machine, so I kind of want to keep it separate from my installation. That's why I'm putting it on the E drive. I'm going to go check to make sure that it looks good, and there it is. Excellent. I'm going to go ahead and close the archive here. Now I need to download um, a couple of mods and make one change before we can start using Mod Organizer. So I'm going to go to my Skyrim data folder. So C drive, program files, Steam, Steam apps, common, Skyrim, data. And in here, I'm going to make a folder. You may actually have this folder depending on what mods you've previously had installed. I'm going to create a folder called Sky Proc Patchers. If you already have this folder, there's no need to remake it. I'm now going to go inside this folder, and I'm going to make a new one called Requiem. Now that that folder has been created, I'm going to go to Mod Organizer, and I'm going to load it up. It's going to ask me what game I want to manage, and it went ahead and found my Skyrim installation here. If it does not find it, you'll need to browse to the location. It's going to give me a little message of a day, which has this great YouTube link in here by Gopher that really gives an in depth, detailed explanation of how to use Mod Organizer. I recommend it. This is my first time loading up this particular folder, and I'm not going to do the tutorial. I am the tutorial. As we can see here, I have a real basic installation of Mod Organizer and a real basic installation of Skyrim. Now, if you're using Mod Organizer, chances are you probably already have it installed and you already have a profile set up with whatever your current mods uh, are set to. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new profile to kind of simulate that environment. And I'm going to call this Requiem 1.8. Then I'm going to select it. Now let's download a couple mods. First, we're going to need Sky UI. So once again to Google, Sky UI, Nexus, Skyrim. I'm going to go to the Files tab, 
find the latest version, and download. I need to provide my login information to Skyrim Organizer. And you'll notice it will start the download. While that's downloading, I'm going to grab Requiem. So, Requiem, Skyrim, Nexus. And there it is. I'm going to go to the Files tab again. Now, this version may be different when you follow this tutorial. You'll want to download whatever the latest version is. Please make sure you read the installation guide to make sure there's no additional steps that are needed for the version that you are downloading. I'm going to go ahead and start the download. It's telling me I need Skyrim Script Extender and SkyUI, which I have both of. And the installation is starting. I'm going to go ahead and pause the video, and I'll resume once it's done. The installation has finished. Downloading, and I'm going to go ahead and follow the instructions here that says double click to install. We'll start with Sky UI. And Requiem. I personally like to put the version number and the name when installing. Now I'm installing to an SSD from another SSD. So your installation may actually be slower than this when you go to do it. Or if you have faster than my SSD, it could be faster. Okay, both mods have been installed. I'm going to go ahead and activate them. This right here is my load order. I'm going to make sure Requiem is at the bottom. And it looks like Sky UI is there. Everything is looking good. However, before we can actually play the game, we will of course need Requiem for the indifferent on this load order as well. That is generated using the Rectificator, and we're going to get that working. We're going to go up to here in this executable section, and I'm going to select Edit from the pull-down menu. Now, everything I'm typing in here is included in the instructions that I mentioned earlier. So I'm typing it pretty much as it's giving it to me. So Requiem Sky Proc Patcher. For binary, I'm going to choose Java. So I'm going to go to C Drive, Program Files x86. Java, JRE7. Again, if you see JRE8 or something else here, we probably didn't get the wrong, uh, the right version, and you'll want to make sure you get Java version 7. Bin and Java W. And for start in, I'm going to choose the folder that I created earlier, which is located in my Skyrim data folder. So C. Program Files, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Skyrim, Data, Skyproc Patchers, and Requiem. Then for arguments, I'm going to type in dash x m x 1024 m jar now, the, the path I'm going to provide here is the place that the Requiem mod is installed within Mod Organizer. So remember, we installed Mod Organizer on the E drive. I'm going to go into the Mod Organizer folder, to the Mods folder, and there's Requiem 1.8. And then from here, I'm going to need to go to Skyproc Patchers, Requiem. I'm just going to go up here and copy 
this path. Go back here and put it in. Alternatively, if you don't want to cut and paste it like I just did, you could type it in manually. However, I would recommend not doing that because you'd probably misspell something. Next, I need to provide the actual executable name. So, here it is. Okay. I don't want to close MO when started. And I'm going to go ahead and add it. And close. Now, before I start, there's something you should know. I have to run Mod Organizer as an administrator. I didn't when I first loaded it up. So if I tried to load this now, it would give me an error saying I'm not an administrator. I'm going to go ahead and close out of Mod Organizer. And I'm going to restart it as administrator. I'm going to browse to the folder once again. I'm going to right click on the executable modorganizer.exe and select run as administrator. Excellent. I'm now going to choose Requiem Skyproc Patcher from the list and I'm going to run it. It looks like it loaded. I'm now going to go ahead and provide the path that contains the Requiem mod. So once again, I'm going to go to the Mod Organizer folder. I'm going to find Mods and Requiem 1.8. And I'm going to open it. If you choose the wrong folder, it's going to tell you that it wasn't able to find the Requiem mod. You'll want to try again. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and click Patch, and it's going to start the patch process. This could take a long time if you have a lot of mods. The important part here is to be very patient. I don't have a lot of mods because it's pretty much a new installation. We got Sky UI, we got Requiem, and we have all of the DLCs. If you have 30 other mods on this list, then this is going to take a lot longer. So once again, just be patient and let it do what it needs to do. Looks like it was successful. And we now have Requiem for the Indifferent on our load list. I'm going to go ahead and activate that. And I'm going to make sure this is at the bottom. The load order looks great. It's pretty simple. I'm now going to choose SKSE from this list of executables. And I'm going to go ahead and run. If everything went good, well, Requiem should be working. I'm going to go ahead and start a new game. Okay, here's the moment of truth. If it worked, we're going to see some fancy looking armor here. If it didn't, <laughs> then I have to start all over and re-record this. And look at that. We have successfully installed Requiem. And I hope you have had the same success. This concludes part one of the tutorial. Part two will be up shortly, and I will expand upon the steps that we have done here, and we'll add a few commonly used mods. I hope you have found this useful. Please leave your comments, suggestions, and questions hey, in the comments. You're finally awake. You were trying to cross the border, right? Walked right into that Imperial ambush, same as us, and that thief over there. Apparently, I did. Damn you, Stormcloaks. Skyrim was fine until you came along. Until later. Empire was nice and lazy. They hadn't been looking for you.